Today I'm going to show you how to solve this pretty basic electrochemistry chemi problem. So I have a voltaic cell that's constructed by combining an Fe, Fe2 plus electrode with a Cu, Cu2 plus electrode. The concentration of Cu2 plus is 0 0.050 mole per liter and the measured cell potential is positive. 0 0.80 volts and I'm asked to determine the concentration of the Fe2 plus ions. So most important information that's given in this question is my Fe Fe2 plus electrode. I have a copper copper 2 plus electrode. I have a concentration that's given to me and I have a cell potential that's given to me. So the first thing I will do is I will start by writing out the possible reactions that are happening at my electrodes. Now if you go to a standard reduction potential table you'll be given the reactions written as reductions for Fe2 plus going to Fe and copper 2 plus going to copper. So when I look up those equations and those reactions, we'll start with the Fe, Fe2 plus reaction. I'll find it in the table and I'll have Fe2 plus aqueous plus two electrons going to Fe solid and my potential for that equation is negative 0 0.440 volts. If I do the same thing with my copper copper 2 plus electrode I have copper 2 plus aqueous plus two electrons again goes to copper solid and the potential for that is positive 0 0.340 volt. Now these are written as reduction potentials which means they're not written as they would occur. They're written as just reductions. Now when I've written them as reductions straight from the table my most negative reduction potential is my anode reaction and my most positive is my cathode reaction. Now, I should always keep in mind that reduction happens at the cathode and oxidation happens at the anode. So that means once I've determined what my anode and cathode is, if these are reduction potentials, the cathode reaction can stay as is because we said reduction happens at the cathode but if this is a reduction potential and this is my anode reaction I need to flip this equation. So let's now write what the reactions should be at the anode and at the cathode. So let's start with the anode reaction and that's just going to be the flipped the reverse reaction of what we have here. So we have Fe solid goes to Fe2 plus plus my two electrons. Now because I flipped the equation this reduction potential has to become positive. It was negative 0.440. Now my reduction potential is 
positive 0 0.4 or 0 volt. My cathode reaction is just going to be the same thing that I've written. And I haven't changed anything, so my reduction potential can stay as it. So now I can get to my overall reaction. And my overall reaction, I just need to add the two reactions and add the two potentials. So let's start adding. I have Fe solid plus Cu2 plus aqueous. Now I'm going to think ahead a little bit and see that there's two electrons on the left side of all my equations and there's two electrons on the right side of my two equations. So I can cancel these two electrons out and they don't need to be written. So all I have left is Fe2 plus aqueous plus my Cu solid. And now this becomes my standard cell potential. And that's just going to be 0 0.780 volt. So now we've got the overall reaction. I'm going to leave that overall reaction right there so we can look at it for our next step. Because what we want to ultimately find is the iron 2 plus concentration. So I have this general equation. where this potential is the measure. So we have that right here. That's my positive 0 0.80 volts. This is the cell potential from my equation. This is my number of electrons. Now note about this number of electrons in our previous equations, we had two electrons in each equation, so this would just be two. If it was different, let's say I had three electrons in one equation and two electrons in the other equation, then I would need the lowest common multiple or the lowest common factor. So in that case, it would be six electrons. If I had eight electrons in one equation and four electrons in another equation, then I would take the common factor, but keep in mind that the highest number of electrons will dominate, so I would take eight electrons in that case. Q is just my concentration of products over my concentration of the reactants. Keep in mind that in my equation here, I have a solid iron as one of my reactants and solid copper as one of my products. Anytime you see solids in these reactions, you don't need to consider them. Just exclude them completely. So let's start filling out our equation, our measured cell potential. 0 0.80 volt that's given. We calculated the standard cell potential here. And I said that my number of electrons was two. And now I can fill out my concentration of my product. Here I only consider the Fe2 plus and my reactants is just C2 
CO2 plus. I'm given my concentration of my CO2 plus. It was 0 0.050 mole per liter. So now that we've uh, determined all the parameters in our equation, we don't need it anymore. So I'm just going to make some room here and get rid of this equation. So as you can see, all we have left to do is solve for our concentration of our Fe2 plus ion, which is what they were asking us to do. So let's get going on that. Let's start rearranging that. We have 0 0.02 volts is equal to my division of this right here, which is going to give me negative 0 0.0296 times the log of my Fe2 plus over my concentration that was given. If I keep rearranging that, I eventually get to negative 0 0.6757. I'm just dividing out by this term here. Left with that. Now to get rid of my log, I'm just going to put everything to the power of 10. And then I just do my math. And I'm left with my Fe2 plus concentration, which ends up being 0 0.011 mole per liter. And then I've addressed that problem.